morning. My good name morning. is Maria. What's your name? My name is Vimal. Okay, can you yeah. can you say that again for me? Uh, Vimal. Vimal. Yeah. Okay, Vimal. Not Vimal. Uh, your... uh, Vimal Vidyanandan. Okay. Uh, lovely. Thank you. Uh, okay. That's um, ISE grade one. So how are you today? I'm good. Thank you. Oh, that's good to yeah. hear. Did you travel far this morning? Yeah, I'm coming from Portsmouth. It's very far. Okay. Yeah. Oh, quite a way. Yeah. Well, listen, start with your topic and okay. then we'll move on to the conversation and finally the listening for months. Okay. What's your topic title? My topic title is My Family. Okay, lovely. And what are your four points? Uh, my wife, my parents, my family activities and my family favorite foods. Okay, activities and family food. Okay, so Vimal, how long have you been married? Uh, it's uh, five years. Wow, five years. Yeah. And how's, how's it been? It's, how's married life been for you? Uh, before marriage, uh, I'm single. It's good. <laughs> After marriage, <laughs> we have I have a lot of restrictions. It's good, but it's good. It's uh, we love each other, so it's good. Yeah. Oh my goodness! And has your wife changed much in the five years? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Before marriage, uh, we know each other. Uh, she is childish. But after marriage, uh, she has got more responsibilities and she's changed, yeah. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Yeah. Do you know, Vimal, I've ne never been married. Oh, that's great. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> because uh, I like to live alone, uh, but she loves me more, so I'm going to marry her. <laughs> oh my goodness, Vimal, stay with her. My yeah, goodness. Of course. So, how has your family changed? I mean, have you had children over the years or? Uh, no, no, not the moment. We have no children. No. Um, what about your parents? Have you uh, seen them recently or? No, my parents are in my native country in India. <gasps> yeah. Okay. When, when will you see them again? Uh, I think next year, November. I'm trying to oh, go that, in uh, next year, November, yeah. Oh, great. And how long will you stay for? <laughs> I think uh, I'm uh, now I'm working in a care home, so it depends on my annual leave. I think it's one and a half month. Yeah. Oh, that would be great. That would be lovely. So what about activities? What, what activities do you and your wife prefer to do in your free time? <laughs> uh, mostly we're doing gardening. Uh, she loves gardening much more, uh, so we uh, just collect uh, new sp new plants from our friends and plant them. Oh wow, yeah. lovely! I I've tried to to grow vegetables, but it's been a disaster. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> because it depends on the climate uh, the vegetables grow. I think in so, UK it's uh, potatoes are more suitable for plant, uh, more suitable for harvesting. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, what what kind of plants have you grown? Things like roses. Or yeah, or? Fly, mostly flowers. Okay, yeah. lovely. So, what about cooking? Do you prefer to cook, or does your wife prefer uh, to cook? I like to cook more. I I like cook, cooking more. Uh, 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 because um, my mother is a very good cook, so I I learn from her uh, cooking. Oh wow! Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well, listen, ask me something about my life or my family. Uh, means uh, what do you like your family most? More. What do I like about them? Yeah. Um, well. We prefer to get together at the weekends. I love them all. Okay. Very okay. lovely. Yeah. Okay, Vima, thanks for that. Now, okay. let's move on to the conversation. We'll talk about something else. Okay. Right. Let's talk about rules and regulations. Now, you, you work in a care home, is that yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, tell me about some of the rules and regulations there. Um, 
mainly they prefer to uh, wear uniforms uh, oh, you, you have to wear a you yeah, have to wear a uniform uniform yeah. and uh, reach uh, uh, means punctuality uh, they look mainly punctuality and the uh, rules and <laughs> Uh, it depends on my days so and well let's say what what happens um if you arrive late what 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 will happen uh, at the moment they uh, they don't say nothing but uh, we continuously take uh, late uh, they will uh, cut off my wages Oh really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. How, how many times have you been late this year? <laughs> Only one or two times. Be, be, uh, because of the traffic. Because uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Because uh, I'm I'm in Portsmouth and my working place is in Oxted, so it's too far. Oh right, yeah. you have to travel every day. Travel oh every my day, goodness. Yeah. I love my job, but there are also some rules and regulations. Ask me about that. Yeah, what the uh, uh, what are you doing? Uh, your job? What's your job? Well, uh, this is my this job. Is your job. This is my job. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the, what the and the, rules and regulations in the? Oh, we have to respect the candidates and um, speak clearly. Things like that. Yeah. And don't drink. We must uh, yeah, drink this, cups things, of tea. Uh, yeah, this is the things in my. My job also. The, the yeah. same things. Okay, Respect well, listen, thanks for that. Yeah. Let's move on to the next phase, and that's the listening. Okay? Okay. Vimal, there are two listenings. Let me just share this with you. Okay. Okay. Now, can you see the ISA listening paper? Yeah. That's great. Now, first listening. Right. You're going to hear a short talk about an Australian plant called the wattle. Okay. You will hear the talk twice. Okay. As you write down some notes about what you hear if you want to. Okay. Then I will ask you six questions on some facts about the wattle. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Great. Okay. Yeah. I yes. one. Task one. Okay, can you hear that? Yes. Great. Hello everyone and welcome to Gardener's World. In today's program, we're looking at a really interesting plant that grows in Australia. It's called the wattle. In total, there are about a thousand different types of this plant that grow in Australia. Nearly all of these different types have yellow flowers. Have you ever seen one? If you want to see these plants in the wild, you need to go to the southwest of Australia. That's where they're most common. Of course, these are also nice plants to have in your garden because they attract a lot of birds. Generally, they're very suitable for Australian gardens because they don't need much water. And don't forget, if you want to grow these plants successfully, they have to be in a very sunny part of the garden. Now, let's look at some lovely pictures of wattles. Now listen again. Hello everyone, and welcome to Gardener's World. In today's program, we're looking at a really interesting plant that grows in Australia. It's called the wattle. In total, there are about a thousand different types of this plant that grow in Australia. Nearly all of these different types have yellow flowers. Have you ever seen one? If you want to see these plants in the wild, you need to go to the southwest of Australia. That's where they're most common. Of course, these are also nice plants to have in your garden because they attract a lot of birds. Generally, they're very suitable for Australian gardens because they don't need much water. And don't forget, if you want to grow these plants successfully, they have to be in a very sunny part of the garden. 
Now, let's look at some lovely pictures of wattles. Okay. Okay. Right, Vimal. Yes. Now, I'll ask you six questions and you only need to answer in a few words. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Number one, how many different types of wattle grow in Australia? Uh, there are a thousand different types of types. Okay. And number two, what color are their flowers? The flowers are yellow in color. And number three, in what part of Australia are they most common? In the southwest of Australia. Okay. Number four, why are they nice plants to have in your garden? Because they attract a lot of birds. And number five, why are they suitable for Australian gardens? Uh, because they no, no need much water. And number six, what part of the garden do they need to be in? We put in a very sunny part of the garden. Thank you very much indeed. Yep, okay, now let's move on to the second listening. Okay, whoops, did I say? Right, now. There we go. Right, now, Pimal, you're going to hear a short talk about a very busy place. You will hear the talk twice. The first time, just listen. Okay. Then I'll ask you to tell me in a few words what the speaker is talking about. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Correct. Okay. ISC 1, task 2. Hello. In today's program, we're going to talk about another interesting place. The world's busiest airport. The airport is in the southern part of the United States. This busy airport opened in 1925. There were car races on the land before they built the airport. It's unusual because there is a river that runs under it. Isn't that surprising? The airport is 32 kilometers from the nearest city. In 1988, they built a fast train line to get from the city to the airport. So, why is it the busiest airport? Well, there are nearly 3,000 flights each day. Apparently, the busiest time is the morning. Most flights from the airport go to other cities in the United States, and there are more than 60,000 people working there. If you're waiting for a flight, the most popular place to visit is the art gallery. And there's a restaurant where you can eat North African food. So, let's watch a film about the airport. Okay, now tell me in a few words what the talk is about. Uh, that talk is about the world's busiest airport. Thank you very much yeah. indeed. Okay, now listen to the talk again, Vimal, okay. and write down some notes about what you hear if you want to. Yeah. Then I'll ask you to tell me six pieces of information about the airport. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Great. Hello. In today's program, we're going to talk about another interesting place the world's busiest airport. The airport is in the southern part of the United States. This busy airport opened in 1925. There were car races on the land before they built the airport. It's unusual because there is a river that runs under it. Isn't that surprising? The airport is 32 kilometers from the nearest city. In 1988, they built a fast train line to get from the city to the airport. So, why is it the busiest airport? Well, there are nearly 3,000 flights each day. Apparently, the busiest time is the morning. Most flights from the airport go to other cities in the United States, and there are more than 60,000 people working there. If you're waiting for a flight, the most popular place to visit is the art gallery. And there's a restaurant where you can eat North African food. So, let's watch a film about the airport. Yep. 
Okay, Vimal. Now, tell me six pieces of information about the airport. Okay, the airport was opened in 1925, and uh, before it built, there is a uh, it's a car racing ground, and uh, it's uh, 32 kilometers away from the city. Uh, they built a fastest fastest train line in 1988. Uh, the airport is busy because of there is 3,000 flights each day and 6, peop more than 6,000 people are working in there. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, I'll ask you some questions. Of course. Right. Um, when is the busiest time? Uh, it, uh, it is in the morning. It's the busiest time. Thank you. And where do most flights go? It's near uh, nearest uh, nearest city means nearest cities in United States. Thank you. And what is the most popular place to visit in the airport? It's an art gallery. Thank you. And the last one, what food can you eat at the airport? It's African Northern food. I think. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Vimal, that's it. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. Lovely Thank you to so meet much. you. Bye bye okay. now. Bye bye. bye, -bye.